What's up to all of my bosses, future bosses, and aspiring bosses? I'm the head boss in charge, BB Nicole. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm BB Nicole, owner of DHG Hair Studio and DeluxeHairGallery.co for the ones that don't know. Today's video is going to be really quick and to the point. Today's video is a one week, maybe two week, I'm not sure, update on this unit. Y'all, my tripod broke. My daughter is helping me set up my camera. So if it moves, I apologize. This will be fixed by next Monday. I'm going to jump right into this review and let you know if this wig is a cop or a flop. Continue watching to find out. Let's jump right into this update. So the unit that I'm wearing is the Janet Collection, the Vivia unit in Strawberry Blonde. Uh, it is a six inch deep part unit. I'm gonna go ahead and say, number one, this wig is completely synthetic. That was the first problem. Also, this unit definitely had a lot of tangling. I thought it was so cute. I thought it was so beautiful. But unfortunately, this unit did have a lot of tangling. Is very cute to look at no matter how much I stored it unfortunately it was just a little bit problematic and if you're spending your own coin I know you girls are trusting me with this advice so I'm gonna have to be honest and say that this wig is a flop I'm so sorry it is a flop and it didn't shed super bad but it tangled and it frayed up this is one of those units where you have to lose length to keep cute. If you guys have noticed, I cut it. The ends were so fried. Let's see if I can find some. Oh, we still have some. The curl left, the ends turned frayed. It was just not cute. You see that, right? So unfortunately, ladies, I'm just gonna have to say that this wig is a flop. Um, you can still get it if you are, I mean, you already know it's a small investment, so you get what you pay for. I'm just so disappointed in this unit only because it came behind the Freedom Part 204 and that wig gave me life. You guys should check out that review. I mean, when you come behind that hair, unfortunately, this Janet unit doesn't compare, but it's still cute. It's just not going to last you like the other unit has been lasting me so far. So unfortunately, I have to go ahead and say it's a no-go. Oh, and I was loving her. Oh, she was so cute. I'm gonna still wear her, but eventually I'm gonna run out of length. And that's the problem. Like, look at, look at that. <laughs> no, God. It's not cute on the ends, but I kind of wear it to the back. And I wear it, like, I just let it kind of flow. And so, let's lift this chair up. Yeah, so as you guys just saw, the ends aren't looking the greatest. I just kind of let it flow, but honey, these ends are not cute. So, the shedding, it doesn't necessarily come out in clumps, but you are fighting with knots for days. The curls held up okay. It's just the very bottom that lost its curl, and it frayed and got staticky and got matted and natted. It's a no-go. But other than that, the color is beautiful. The unit is beautiful. But I'm gonna wrap up this review because I'm not gonna drag it out. It was just a no-go. Save your coins, sis. I wanted to save this unit so bad, but save your coins or buy at your own risk. You will get tangling, you will get matting, and you will have to keep cutting this unit to stay cute. And who wants to lose their length? Okay guys, that wraps up my final thoughts on the Janet Collection Vivia unit in the color Strawberry Blonde. Unfortunately, this unit is a flop, a no-go. Don't waste your money, sis. Join me back next Monday 
for another wig review and we'll decide if it's a cop or a flop. You guys stay dope. Before I go, I'm going to remind you guys to wake up, pray, get pretty, hustle, and repeat. Your girl is out. Bye. Make sure you guys sign up for my 3K giveaway and make sure you watch all the other videos in my wig series and my mukbang series. You guys stay dope and I will see you next week.